everybody welcome back to the channel guys as you can kind of maybe tell we're sitting up a little bit higher so you saw stage one you saw stage two about to show you stage three of the truck and before we go any farther let me give a huge shout out um to alex um we banged out in it was about eight hours um getting this done the other day as you can tell we've been a little bit busy but uh fixing to show you the not finished but they're never done i mean come on but yeah guys um uh, fixing to let you see what we did So you're asking yourself, Caleb, what's the freaking problem with it? Well, <sighs> all right, so just like in the video when I first introduced the new truck, same place, same everything, but <laughs> I apologize for the wind, guys. It's, it's a windy day, but it's like 80 degrees, so I don't give a crap. Guys, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, I could not be freaking happier. This is exactly, exactly what I had in mind. Um, if I was gonna step down from a 250 to a 150, what I wanted, and this is freaking it. All right, boys. So I have done a few other things other than all this, um, which I'll go over there in a minute. But um, real quick what uh what did we do so we've got a six inch suspension lift on the truck now um the wheels are archon da vinci's and i gotta tell you i agonized over wheels guys i didn't want to do something that everybody does like the, i mean there's a lot of really popular brands and rightfully so because they're great looking wheels but i wanted it to be a little bit different and so i went with the archons these wheels are bad freaking ass. So let me go ahead and give you specs real quick. They're 22 by 10s. Um, I did not want, I'm, you know, I'm not a teenager. I didn't want them stick. I didn't want any 14 wides, okay? So I did a 10. I also didn't want them sticking out way out. So this is a negative 25. This is exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. It's got a little bit of poke. It's got that aggressive stance but it doesn't look like a high school kid's truck. Um, and that was my goal. Archon's freaking nailed it. I could not be happier. So the tires are a uh, 35, 12, 50, 22. I also agonized over tires. I was just gonna go with an open country MT uh, Toyo like I had on the other truck. But I started reading the reviews on these tires. Yokohama's a great tire. Um, I liked the look of them and they were like, $700 cheaper. I was like, all right, screw it. We'll go with it. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the hell with an open country. And I had them on my 250. These tires are bad ass. The, everything about them, there's, I have no complaints with these tires. They, they look great. They ride great. They're not noisy. I mean, I, I, I could not be happier. So obviously you guys, if you didn't see the video, we did the full blackout and all of that. Um, but, uh, there's a couple other things, um, that we did. Uh, one of them, Alex again in clutch scored me a bed cover. So I can keep all the merch and everything in the bed when we go to events and not have to worry about taking up the back seat or anything, getting wet or anything like that. Next, we got the recon tail lights. This was kind of a difficult one because my truck has the blind spot there's only a few headlights out there that have that um 
as far as a smoked LED, which is what I wanted. Um, and I'll light them up in a second. But once again, Alex came through and clutch. Now, here's the deal. The stock tail lights on these trucks, one tail light costs as much as these pairs. Go on eBay if you don't believe me. Um, these are about 600 bucks. One OE Bliss tail light from Ford is like 700 bucks. So that worked out again. Just traded in my old tail lights and got these. Um, I couldn't be happy. I'll light them up in a second, but they look great. Kind of finished off that whole black look. Um, not a huge thing, but of course I had to get the smoked LED tag lights. Guys, I'm, I'm obsessed with blacking the truck out. But man, I'm telling you guys, I could not be happier with the way the truck came out. <laughs> show you what the headlights do or the excuse me the tail lights you can see this is led here and then of course uh, and these are recons you get the led for the backup light and uh, if you're new to the channel haven't been followed along everything is black uh, we did the third brake light we did the emblems did the uh, smoke turn signal on the mirror um, and of course the headlights which i could not be happier with I love, guys, I'm telling you, I, I love these headlights. And then, of course, did the matching uh, fog lights with the uh, with the LEDs in there. Blacked out the Ford emblems, 5% window tint. And of course, I, I can't forget my, my American flag, 50 cal antenna, that's, that's a must have. But um, yeah, guys, I don't have anything left to black out. I'm actually kind of getting a little bored now. I can't do anything. All right, boys, and again, if, if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen the new tow pig, um, what we did in stage one was I got the cold air intake on it, got the um, uh, oil catch can oil separator on it, uh, got the cat back exhaust on it, and the window tent, that was stage one, and then we did the blackout, and then, of course, this is stage three. And again, I'll ha guys, I'll have a full review on, on how the truck rides, drives, pros and cons of the lift. We'll do all of that soon because I've talked to a lot of you guys and I know uh, some of you are on the fence about, you know, how big, how tall, what should you do? Um, does it suck? You know, lots of questions. And of course, I will do that video and uh, just give you a real world review of what I think. All right, boys. So what is, what else am I going to do the truck? At this point, not a lot. Um, we are gonna uh, go up to Wingard Performance and get a tune. Um, that's mandatory on these trucks for performance and fuel mileage. Um, always get your truck tuned by a reputable tuner. Um, I use Wingard. They've done all our cars. They do a great job. Um, I don't know what else. I've I've looked at several different things. I've, I have looked at headers. I don't want the truck to sound like I'm a high school kid. And when you put headers on these trucks, they get ridiculously loud and not wanting to do that. I really like the way the exhaust sounds. I'm probably not changing. I don't know, guys. Drop me a comment below. What else should we do to the truck? Keep in mind, this is going to tow the cars all over the country. So I'm not wanting to go too crazy. Um, but as far as the looks department, that's a sexy bitch. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what I got for you. Like I said, drop me a comment below. What else should we do? to the new tow pig and uh i hope you guys appreciate the the, the truck content because i know a lot of you guys that have mustangs and you know other cool fords drive these trucks daily tow with these trucks so it slides right in with everything we're doing and uh you know the, the response has been really good lots of f-150s out there but uh anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this if you did big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button get you on the next one